2021 was a strong year for Valmet, marked by a return to growth track in all of our businesses, a very active market demand for the board and paper making technologies, and of course the plan to merge Neles to Valmet. But before going deeper into the full year, let's take a brief look into the fourth quarter results. So, during the fourth quarter, the orders increased in both staple and capital businesses. The total order intake grew by 16% to 1.1 billion. Net sales were 1.2 billion and the comparable EBTA 147 million. Both sales and comparable EBTA remained at the previous year's level. The EBTA margin decreased to 12.2% as the SGNA costs were higher than a year ago. Moving on to the full year numbers then. All of Valmet's key figures increased in 2021. We were pleased to achieve such a good growth in the orders received, which increased by 30% to 4.7 billion. This is a new record for Valmet and clearly higher than the levels before COVID. In accordance with the guidance for 2021, Valmet's net sales increased and comparable EBTA increased. Comparable EBTA amounted to 429 million and represented 10.9% margin. Earnings per share increased also nicely to 1.89 euros. And due to the increased EPS, the board proposes also a higher dividend. The propo proposal is for 1.2 euros dividend up from 0.9 euros last year. This represents 61% payout ratio and roughly 3.5% dividend yield calculated from the current share price. The dividend would also be well in line with Valmet's dividend policy of at least 50% payout ratio. The order backlog increased by 839 million compared to last year and amounted to 4.1 billion. This gives Valmet a good basis to start the year 2022. The guidance for 2022 is that Valmet expects both net sales and comparable EBTA to increase compared to last year. The short-term market outlook is good in four of our six businesses and satisfactory in the remaining two. The outlook was upgraded for energy, where the pipeline has improved. Starting this year, the European Union requires certain large companies to disclose the extent to which their economic activities can have a substantial positive environmental impact. These activities are referred to as taxonomy eligible. Of Valmet's 2021 sales, 51% was taxonomy eligible. The taxonomy includes criteria for Valmet's capital business, but unfortunately services as an economic activity is not included in the taxonomy. All in all, this video can be summarized in a similar manner than a year ago. Valmet's business is supported by favorable megatrends, we have a solid order backlog and have improved our profitability every year since we became an independent company at the end of 2013. Valmet started the year 2022 from a good position.